With Logic Forms, it's easy to create powerful forms and achieve picture-perfect layouts. Let's take a look at creating a multi-column layout with the sample form. To create a multi-column layout, you have a couple different options. You can use groups to create your layout, or you can use tables. First, let's look at using groups. Insert a new group onto the form. We'll call this group the layout group. Groups are invisible and are only used in designing layouts and grouping fields together. Inside of our layout group, we want to insert two other groups, which we'll call columns 1 and 2. As you can see in the preview, these groups are still both aligned vertically. So if we dropped a couple fields in column 1, and added some fields into column 2, they would not make two separate columns. What we need to do is tell the parent group that contains the two child groups that we want the items inside of it to be aligned horizontally. Under the group layout and alignment properties, we do that by changing the alignment to horizontal. You'll notice when I did that, not a lot changed on the form. This is because the width of the form is set to 700 pixels and the second column wrapped to the next line as there wasn't enough space for it. I wanted to illustrate this to you in case this was something you ran into when you were doing your own form design. There are two solutions to this problem. First, we can increase the width of the form. This is done under Theme and Style, and then under Page. In the Outer Container section, adjust the width. Now you can see that the groups are two separate columns. I'm going to undo that change so I can show you the other way you can remedy this. With the original form selected in the form outline, move to its layout and alignment properties. Now change the caption alignment from horizontal to vertical. This moves our captions from being left aligned to vertically aligned, and it gives us a little more room to work with. Now you can see we have our two column layout. If you need to add additional columns, simply create a new group and insert the applicable fields. That is the way to create a multi-column layout using groups, and now we'll show you how to do it using tables. First, insert a new table. By default, this will create two columns. Ensure the alignment of the form is vertical, and if it is not, change it so it is. Notice in the row field, there are two separate columns automatically created. Take the first set of fields and put them into column 1, and do the same for column 2. By default, the table hides the captions on the fields. That's a typical use, but you do have the ability to turn that setting on and off. Under each column settings, change Optimize Child Elements to False, and your labels will be shown. Do the same for the other column. With Logiforms, you can design powerful layouts using tables, groups, and other controls. You can create an unlimited number of columns, groups, and tables to achieve highly customized form layouts.